In this chapter, we are going to learn about the elements of design. Any design in the world can be broken down into these five elements, which is line, shape, form, texture, and color. Elements of design serves as a foundation for the development and creation of all textiles and clothing product. Throughout history, artisans and designers have utilized the elements of design in a variety of ways to create a certain aesthetic. Across the discipline, the elements of design, line, space, shape, form, texture, and color are used by every designer. The aim of this chapter is to understand elements of fashion, design, and develop design project. This is how visually elements of design look like. You have line, then you have form, then you have color, and you have texture. In today's chapter on elements of design, we are going to discuss line. Lines are the greatest devices for fashion designers. Lines within a garment are created by darts, seams, and decorative details. Each kind of line produces its own special effect. Straight lines and shape denote force and strength and have a masculine quality. Curved lines are the lines of nature. They gracefully give a feminine effect. Since lines create illusion of height and width, they can be used to one's requirement to tone down or exaggerate a particular figure. Lines create a lot of optical illusion and they are an important design detail. You can see in these dresses, just by altering the lines, a new kind of interest has been formed. First of all, let's discuss what is a decorative line. These lines are created by the designer purely for decoration, for example, a print or a design. The arrangement of lines in clothing can cause it to appear heavier or thinner than what it actually is. Horizontal, vertical, diagonal, curved, zigzag and broken. Now understand what are structural lines. Seam lines divide an enclosed space on a garment. Designer use different seam and dart placement as interesting design detail. On this slide you can see horizontal, vertical, diagonal, curve, highlighted and details as seam lines. Now every line gives a message. Straight line gives message of forceful, rigid, strong, hard, formal, masculine, crisp, stiff, severe. And it gives an illusion where it increases the emphasis and it reinforces body lines and angles. It counters curved lines and rounded body areas. Now curved lines give a message which is very gentle, romantic, fragile, soft, casual, feminine, graceful, and sensual. It gives an illusion where it holds the attention longer, increases emphasis, reinforces rounded, soft body curves, counter straight lines and angular body areas. It is very important for a designer in which direction they are using the line. When a line is used vertically, it talks more of formal, strong, dignified, stiff, business-like, stately, conservative, majestic, and efficient. And it also gives the illusion of reinforced length, height, narrows, it creates thinness and slimming, and it counters horizontal line. And when you use line horizontally, it talks about more restfulness, stable, calm, relaxed, casual, quiet, serene. 
and lethargic and it gives an illusion of bulk shortness it counters vertical lines and when they are placed high the person appears taller and when they are placed low then they appear shorter now diagonally placed stripes give a very different message they say active movement instability excitement interesting dramatic restless sophisticated in motion and vitality and it also creates an illusion where it reinforces the direction of the dominant angle it counters vertical and horizontal lines more now let's see how different fashion designers use lines as a design detail in this slide you can see vertical stripes how beautifully designers have used different vertical stripes and create different illusions then horizontal lines where the silhouette looks broader designers used bold horizontal stripes where stripes are mixed and matched black and white stripes and lots of black and white stripes with interplay of stripes where designer uses both horizontal and vertical stripes menswear after designers we have to understand how forecasting companies they look at lines at one major forecasting detail and let's look at the trend boards so stripes trend in swimwear stripe trends in jackets and cardigan where it's called winter stripes stripe trend in daywear then a different kind of trend where multicolor mix and match stripes are there sometimes designers use fine tonal stripes or bold sporty multicolor stripe trend there is a trend of wide variegated contrast stripes or head to toe vivid stripe trend where the whole body is covered in a stripe then we have bright stripe trend in menswear or we have simple stripe trend in women's wear we also have graphic stripe trend or animal stripe trend we have placement stripe trend broken stripe trend and cut and paste stripe trend we also have blanket stripe trend for men's or juxtaposed stripe and pattern trend where patterns are inserted into stripes now in the end in the summary of the chapter let's understand what all we covered in line as an element of design first of all line is a very essential design element of fashion and it creates visual effect by different line directions fashion designer use line in two ways structural and decorative uh, designers also explore lines to create new designs and line is a very very hot trend by all forecasting agencies <music>